it's a big year for Neil Brown in West Virginia. I think that he's on the hot seat and he has to be able to find a way to turn this program around. Today, we're going to take a look at the 10 players that are going to help him out and ultimately decide if he keeps his job or if he's looking for employment after next year. One of the most exciting players in college football that a lot of people probably still don't know is CJ Donaldson. The running back stepped up in a big way last year after coming in from tight end at six foot two, 239 pounds. He's one of the biggest running backs in college football. And I think that if he can stay healthy, he's going to be dynamic. He's going to be explosive. And he'll be a big reason why this offense has so much success. You look at even last year, average six yards per carry, eight touchdowns, 526 yards. I think that if, again, if he can stay healthy, that's the biggest thing. Last year, he struggled with injuries. And granted, West Virginia had good depth at running back. But I think that you're looking at an even more important reason to stay healthy is because he, the drop off between him and the next guy is a lot deeper with with Tony Mathis hitting the transfer portal. So keeping him healthy is going to be huge. But I think if you get a healthy CJ Donaldson for a full year, this rushing attack is going to be a nightmare to stop. And a big reason for that is going to be the offensive line. And we can talk about a lot of them, but Zach Frazier is someone who has All-American potential. I think I've seen him on quite a few All-American teams already. And the junior has had plenty of experience to justify that. And you look at this is, again, Neil Brown needs a lot to happen this year, and he has a solid offense that could be better. And the offensive line is going to play a huge role in that. And having a center like Zach Frazier back is huge because he is someone that has experience. He's been in the Big 12 for so long that he knows what to expect. He knows the calls. He knows the defenses that people bring, and he's another leader on this offense. He can help the quarterback also identify certain things. That is a huge player to have back. He's a veteran who is going to help tremendously, and honestly, I like the, the trajectory of this offense. Maybe not going to be one of the best in college football, but they have the potential to be really good. Now, another side of that for Neil Brown is the defense, and Aubrey Burks is back at safety. Does a little bit of everything for this defense, and that's huge uh, to help other guys realize that no one is too good to make plays. No one is too good to help out, and Burks is a perfect example of that. 66 tackles last year, four and a half tackles for loss, two passes defended, one interception. Uh, you saw him in his first full year as a starter do exactly what they needed him to do, show these guys what they need to compete at a high level. And if everybody else kind of elevates their game a little more, especially with the talent that they lost, if the new guys can step up, then I think that this defense also takes a step forward. Now, one of the go-to targets out wide at wide receiver is NC State transfer Devin Carter. Six foot three, 215 pounds. He is a good body to have downfield, a big time threat if you can find him downfield. And I really like what he does for this offense. Again, a lot of that pressure is going to be on CJ Donaldson. A lot of that is going to require him to be dynamic but if you can find a passing game that can take guys out of the box that can open up running lanes that's huge and getting Devin Carter was a big addition for them I think that's one of the bigger additions in college football it's from the transfer portal if he is able to take a step forward because we've seen him be productive for the Wolfpack over the last few years it's just a matter of can he rediscover that explosiveness and do it again at West Virginia now on the defensive side of the ball you got I guess we talked about Abir Burks and Lee Kabaga is going to be one of those guys that also steps up six foot 231 pounds an athletic player who I really like as a disruptive playmaker for the Mountaineers defense 92 tackles last year five and a half tackles for loss three and a half sacks again there is a decent core of guys and first in these two that we talked about that can make big plays. Now they lose, they lose stills. They lose guys that are going to, that were proven playmakers. And now you get opportunities to find new ones. And if your leaders who are returning are able to step up, then you get some of those other guys that can hopefully fill those holes as well. Now all eyes will be on Garrett green and what he can do for this offense. We talked about CJ Donaldson and what he does. We talked about Devin Carter and what he does. Garrett Green has the potential to be really exciting. I think that we've seen West Virginia quarterbacks be really exciting, but not with their legs, at least not a not a still you look at Pat White. That's the last time I think maybe we've seen someone who has the ability to be explosive as a rusher too. Now, if he can complete more of his passes, 55.1 completion percentage won't get the job done. But you look at 6.1 yards per carry. I think that if you're able to open the field up 
for C.J. Donaldson. If Devin Carter is able to step up, Garrett Green is going to have a phenomenal year. He's going to have arguably his best year of his career, and that's huge because you need this offense to take a step forward. Neil Brown needs it to keep his job, and I really like what Garrett Green brings to the table. Now, someone who can make a big-time impact on the defensive side of the ball is defensive end Sean Martin. Eight, eight tackles for loss, four sacks. He can have an even bigger year because he has that experience now. He knows what it takes to be successful. He knows what this defense needs of him and what it requires of him. And if he's able to take that step forward, there's a lot of good things ahead for this West Virginia defense. Now, I won't say that they're going to be the elite unit that they've been, maybe been at times, but you know, there's also been a lot of struggles lately. And the way to take a step forward is by having, obviously, everybody take a step forward as well. But when you have playmakers like Sean Martin returning, then I think that you're looking at everybody kind of buying into this, this philosophy and doing what they need to do to get the job done. Player that they got in the transfer portal at safety, Keyshawn Cobb from Buffalo. I think it was a pretty solid addition. Maybe doesn't move the meter for a lot of people, but I think when you look at what they needed in the secondary, he adds a, a reliable player that can be a solid contributor. I think what he did at Buffalo showed that West Virginia could utilize his skill set. Maybe not the biggest guy at five foot ten, but someone who's going to be able to make plays. Maybe you throw him in the nickel, put him closer to the line of scrimmage, just see what he does. I think in the end, this was still a solid addition, and he's going to make an impact on this defense. Another player they added in the transfer portal is Montre Miller from Kent State. The cornerback was pretty solid for the Golden Flashes. Eight passes defended, two interceptions. I'm really excited to see what he can do at the Power 5 level. I think that at times... Penn State was overlooked and kind of forgotten about, and now he gets a chance to prove that he can do exactly the same things that he did in the MAC at the Power 5 level. The secondary obviously needed some help, and adding talent like Miller, who's probably going to start for the Mountaineers, was huge for this team. Another player who could have a big impact is Kent State, another Kent State transfer, Jay Sean Polk. I think that if you're able to rediscover what he did earlier in his career, then you're looking at someone who could have a major impact. We already talked about Devin Carter and what Gary Green needs from him, Jay Sean Polk could be another guy that can help step up and be maybe more of a possession receiver, someone who's going to pick up yards when you need it the most. But this gives them some depth at a position that looked pretty thin coming into this year. This is going to be interesting because I think this offense has a lot of potential to be explosive, to be very dynamic and very fun to watch. But you're kind of also playing with fire here because this is kind of a Neil Brown needs this to work and maybe he's taking bigger shots on, on guys in the transfer portal that aren't going to step up for him. We don't really know. We also need to see this defense take a step forward in a different big 12 in a new big 12 where there's more talented teams added. So it's interesting to see what this team can do. How do they take a step forward? Can they take a step forward? And then after that, what does this mean for Neil Brown's future? And if it's good, then we'll see him around for a little bit longer, but if not, then we're looking at a new West Virginia coach coming 2024.